What I have written on the board here is an excellent list of acids, bases, and ions to memorize if you're trying to do acid-base problems in a general chemistry 2 course. So up here I have a list of the strong acids, and you can see I have an associated mnemonic written out in red. I bought Coca-Cola, nice sale. And you can see the first letter of each of these words here is supposed to clue you in to the chemical that you're supposed to remember. Down here I have the strong bases and the mnemonic there is licking killer badgers can cause strong nausea. Up here I've got the weak acids, fluffy cats can purr and whine nightly. So there are a few things to look closely at here. For example, acetic acid, I used and for the A, so you have to know that this is acetic acid. And then for H2O I used wine for the W is supposed to clue you into the water. And then down here I've got the weak bases. Hikers never pack healthy canned food. And you can see down here I used hikers. The H is supposed to clue you into H2O. So just make sure you can look at the mnemonic and see how this first letter can clue you in to the acid, base, or ion you're supposed to remember. Over here I have the polyprotic acids. And there are just a few of these, so they're not too hard to remember. And you should know that polyprotic means multiple Proton. So this essentially refers to acids that can donate more than one proton, or H+. And so you see here H2SO4, H3PO4, and H2CO3 are all examples of polyprotic acids. You can see H2SO4 can donate two protons, first donation and second donation. H3PO4 has three H's, so it can donate three protons. And then H2CO3 has two protons, so it can donate twice. And after each donation, the acid actually gets weaker. Okay, finally, the ions with no effect on pH. These are great to memorize for pH problems. Just make sure you can memorize all of these ions here. And whenever you have an ion on this list in a solution, it will have no effect on the pH. In other videos, I talk about the definitions and utility of all of these chemicals. But this is just something I think you should memorize here.